This is Greg Tingle reporting for the Media Man Group. We're in the field at Content Live, attached to the, um, the magazine. We've just discovered Blonde Robot. We've been speaking off the record to Quentin. And look, we're on film. What a great promo. This is um, a red dragon. I actually mentioned to them earlier, we discovered red dragon through the accomplished um, reality TV production producer from um, many years ago, going back decades, Brett Clements from Simon Townsend's Wonderworld, and he got involved in prop vid, property production on the Gold Coast. But Brett used to rave to me about these red dragons. And even about six years ago, you could get your hands on one for about 30000 I don't know the actual price of this one, but I saw an, a head nod in the background. Yes. Um, so can you give us some narration here? They, they're sick and tired of my voice. No, of Red course. Dragon. Of is no, this, no, what, no, no. This is give the, us an update. Yeah, this is the big boy. This here is the, uh, the Red V-Raptor XL. So you're looking at 8K up to 120 in raw. But this is sitting on top of the MRMC motorized quiet rail system with also this AFC head and if you want to you can make it auto track yourself so I can actually set it to auto track you but you just have to come up. I mean, <laughs> how far does it will it follow me down the road if I'm <laughs> I mean, I mean, I can. or you'd have to you'd have to broad cast it to something like and, and follow with the drone oh, like, in the research and development yeah, yeah, yeah. and then we're going to start getting into some military applications yeah oh mate they'll be a customer yeah. don't worry oh, trust me they got a little bit but yeah we're here showing a lot of automated NDI stuff we have uh, some stuff from SNS and they have some incredible NASA's uh, that have RAID systems and also free maps. I mean, right. a lot of everything. Now, here's a couple of pop culture references, because oh, I'm into pop culture, ex, ex journalist, <laughs> but I yeah. interviewed a few of the stars over the year, probably some of, some of your producers' stars, there like you your clients, right, okay. Yeah. Um, Phil Rosenberg, Phil from, um, oh, it's not Seinfeld, the other one, Raymond, Raymond, exporting uh, yeah, Raymond. Yeah, that's right. Okay, now, I thought of Ex Machina, but I also okay. thought of Jura Jurassic Park, like, Blonde robot and this a raptor. And the raptor, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> Can you tell me off the top of your head? Is there any particular movies we may have heard of that have actually used that they they, they wouldn't mind being uh, mentioned easily, in this? Easily, I think uh, the killers, uh, the new one, the Scorsese. Killers of the Flower Moon. That's one of them. Uh, if you're looking at ones that were shot with, let's say, the red Komodos, you have the newer, the latest Matrix. Uh, the cool series that's on Netflix Wednesday. Here we go. Wednesday, Adams. Are you allowed to tell us um, your namesake? Quentin Tarantino. Has he, do we know that him and his crew have ever used them or they should be using them? Do we know yet? You know what's really funny? I mean, there's a lot. I think Quentin definitely loves film. But if you go on to Shot on Red, it's a website with Red Digital Cinema Camera. They actually have a list that people want to share. Has that, that website been going for a number of years? Yeah, definitely. I think I actually went to it back then when Brett Clements from Simon Townsend Wonderworld and PropVid fame told me about it. So it's like it's re-triggered the memories. Absolutely. I mean, there's tons of, uh, obviously, commercials and, well, just tons of content video that gets shot with red because you're looking at something that has the highest resolution frame rate and in the lowest package with some of the best color science. All right. It is one of the only cameras that actually records 16-bit Raw color okay, now here's a question. It's not a trick question, but we're on the we're on the flow here. We're not actually editing it. And the question is, for that budding filmmaker or the established filmmaker out there that may not necessarily have the budget of a um, Quentin Tarantino or or Fox or whatever, if they didn't have a spare whatever, 30,000 plus plus yeah. sitting around. Is there any way, any organisations you ever deal with where they could potentially, like, um, with the right security, hire or rent this for, like, yeah. whether it's a week or a couple of months and they, so that, because they may not have that 30,000, etc. plus actually, hanging around. Yeah, we actually work with a lot of, not only have we supported a lot of schools so that when the kids in the film schools are on their final year, Film project we've lent out here to them. Uh, there's a few rental houses here in Australia that would have these readily available. But I think one thing to really keep in mind is that there is a model that Red make called the Red Komodo, and it happens to be one of the most cost-effective. 
So again, having it on an automatic slider, that is something that you can actually have repeatable, programmable movements so that when you're doing CGI or VFX, it makes it much easier for editing. What was the name of that? Not a Raptor, it was a, a Komodo. Ko Ko oh, no. All right. If you're allowed to disclose yeah, yeah. Um, on the marketing branding side of it, is there one or two fans like of, of like you know dinosaur and these interesting um, these animals these these creatures like somebody once upon a time come up with the idea of red dragon and then they've gone Komodo is who who's thinking up because the, the name's are pretty cool. Probably Jared Lance. <laughs> He is a gun, and he's been around for a while, and uh, it's just style. You gotta love the names. You got to. But that's big, big time. But it makes it, it makes it interesting. So, like the hardcore people, they get into it. But then middle of the road and casual, they can go, "Oh yeah, did you hear about the Red Dragon Komoto? And now it's getting implanted on my brain." And I'm going to go, oh, yeah, was, this camera started falling. It was, a, it was one of the breed of one of the red dragons. Yeah, but now it's a raptor. It's yeah, a raptor. <laughs> it's a friendly raptor, at least so far. You um, be able to, when you're around, I mean, if you're around to content live now, come by, check it out. Yes. And if not, get a hold of Blonde Robot, and we can talk about demos. Randwick, Randwick Race Course, Sydney, Australia, in the eastern suburbs. Um, Normally, usually, they'd have um, horses going around here, but I'm actually, I'm very pleased to see that we've got this going on today. I mean, yeah, I did do punts a long time ago, but I'm also an animal nature, so maybe, see, the, 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 the dragon's got us in. Oh, once upon a time, I used to bet on horses, but I don't anymore. I hope that horses are going all right. But, um, yeah, this technology... Mate, it's in, it's incredible. So um, they could come on down to Content Live at Randwick Racecourse and um, check out the latest and greatest, maybe get followed by a camera, um, enjoy a panel discussion. Um, yeah, it's all happening. So, Quindon, thank you very much, mate. Really appreciate it and have a great show.